Shalom to the elect of Israel, to the whole elect of Israel, Hebrews, Whites, your so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Woods, Indians, and Haitians. Gotta give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. The Most High, the Heavenly Father, His Hebrew name is Yahweh. Not Yahweh, not Jehovah, not God, not Elohim, not Most High, not Lord, not Yah, not Yah, not Ahayah, not Allah, not Allah, not Yahuwah. It's Yahweh. And his only begotten son name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Not Yahshua, not Yeshua, not Jesus Christos, not Jesus Christ, not Serapis Christos, not Yeshaya, not Yahushua, not Yahusha. It's Yahweh Shah. So we gotta give all praises on and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Bahashim Rikak Quarash. The bonus to the apostles and elder bishops and elders of great millstone who rule well, who teach well, who are the apostles and elders of all of Israel, whether they can it or not. In the sense of salutation to all the occupants, pushing this truth and believing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth, the entire world, shedding light to the whole full of lay. Shalom to the art wife who are listening to learning. You few sisters who are listening to learning. Coming here to another lesson of truth, fact, faith, and edification, another day of edification, Lord willing to be edifying. So I'm going to tell you this lesson. This will be part two. Prophecy is the forecast for Babylon the Great. And as we looked at the word forecast yesterday at the live camp, one of the words, it had similar words. It said prophesy, prediction, prophecy, sign, token, forewarning, warning. And the warning is North America, Babylon the Great will be destroyed. Thus saith the Lord, as the scriptures read, and there's a forewarning. The Lord sent out this message to hopeful elect, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, West Indians, and Haitians, which are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, the Lord's chosen people. The forecast is uh, to warn our people that if they don't repent and turn back to you, how about Shah? But you can't anyway if, if the Lord don't give you the Holy Spirit to do so. If you don't repent and turn back to Yahweh Shema Shah, you're going to die a grievous death. Which two thirds of our people will die grievous deaths. All the heathen nations will die grievous deaths. So as we went into that word prophesy, for one of the words for forecast, Prophecy, prophesy, forewarning, to warn. So I'm going to go to uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. And it reads The prophet that have been before, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence and what's coming to America is Jacob's trouble in Jeremiah 30 and 7 it talks about Jacob's trouble which is it's going to be a uh, trouble for so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, West Indians, and Haitians. The scripture talks about famine. There ain't gonna be no food in the grocery stores when you read in 2nd Ezra uh, chapter 15. When you go to 2nd Ezra chapter 16 it talks about um, that shall be a uh, a man shall want to enter into another city and shall not be able, which is going to be martial law. And I was telling the young brother Ricardo years ago, like I've been looking for this movie. I saw this movie years ago. And I don't know, maybe they took it off of YouTube or I don't know why I saw that, but it was, it was likened to, it was an end time movie. It was one of those end time movies. And I'll never forget, it was a guy trying to get back home to his wife because she was pregnant. And he was out of town on business. 
and he was on a flight. He had took a flight to get back to the city because his wife was calling him and telling him that chaos was happening. And the people in the neighborhood was leaving. I'll never forget this movie. I can't find it for nothing. I've been trying to find this movie for years. But I saw it maybe back in 2015, 2016. And um, this one family, Edomite family, was trying to leave the city. So they packed up. Never forget it. They got they loaded up in the SUV. They was leaving the city. And 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 when they got to like I'm gonna say not the edge, but like I guess like leaving the city limits, it was Humvees blocking in both sides of the road. And it was like a two, three-way intersection. And on both sides, there was Humvees blocking both sides. So you couldn't enter in or out. So the and, and um <laughs> it's crazy because these they they was uh military Humvees. And you saw the when when the guy got close to the Humvees, you saw the military men in the you know in, in the military um in their military gear, they was on the ground dead. And these Jakes or the people from the hood had done bum rushed the military guys and killed them. So they started shooting at this Edomite guy and his family trying to leave the city. I guess I don't know if they were trying to, you know, get get them or get the vehicle or what, but they start shooting at the guy and he turned around and went back to the neighborhood but they had the city blocked off they showed another scene it was a jake that he was standing in front of his house in front of the garage it was a house with a garage on it and he was standing in front of the garage and he had the bible and he had a garment on i never forget it i can't find this movie for nothing now but he had a garment on and he had the Bible in his hand, and these people was running to him, asking him questions about what was what's happening, what's going on, and he was like, it's the wrath for the Lord. These are the end times. So these things, and they show you in these movies, like you got the movie Image of the Beast, when the chick said, they took the chick, and she was like, uh, they was like, are you really, are you willing to denounce your faith? And the one girl was like, take it, please take it. You saw what happened to my sister. And she was like, no. Then they pull up on the guillotine. They show you in this movie that these things are going to happen. And we know, as I tell you in Ecclesiastes 1, let's read this. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and 9 and it reads the thing that have been the thing that have been is that which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun is there anything wherever it may be said see this is new it have been already of old time which was before us so as the Lord destroyed the earth with the flood, why? Because the wickedness of the people. As the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, why? Because of the wickedness of the people. Same thing is going to happen because the wickedness that's in the earth. Ecclesiastes 3 and 14. And everything that the Lord does it's to put fear in the hopeful elect, always. It's to put fear in the remnant. What happened with Noah? The Lord put that fear in Noah, man. But Noah was righteous. So the fear was already, it's already there with the hopeful elect. They come back every third and fourth generation. Just like the two thirds come back, the whole flat come back, and they got the same spirit. As a matter of fact, real quick in 2 Timothy, it reads this. Because we do works, you could do works, but this is about that same Holy Spirit, that predestinated spirit. Was that 2 Timothy? 
2 Timothy 2. Let me see here. No, not 2 Timothy. It's Titus. Thinking about Titus. So this is Titus chapter 3 and 5 it reads it say not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit see it say by the renewing of the Holy Spirit right when you go to Psalms this is Psalms <clears throat> was that Psalms 109 now remember it say by the renewing of the Holy Spirit right Psalms 109 Psalms 109 bear with me here So lock you. This Psalms. Man, it's been a minute since I read this. Hold on. Oh, Psalms 104. So lock you. So in Psalms 104 and 29, this is what I wanted. It reads. Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Thou takest away their breath, they die, and return to their dust. As it say in um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Also in Ecclesiastes 3. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. See, this is the whole flick and two thirds. So lucky and two thirds. Everybody come back in reincarnation every third or fourth generation. So let's get this again in Titus. Titus three and five reads, "Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit." So being renewed again, Psalms one hundred four and twenty nine it reads. Thou hidest thy face, meaning the Lord, when the Lord hid his face, we was troubled. Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Thou takest away their breath. That means the Lord ain't dealing with you. They die and return to their dust. Right? So now you back in the spiritual realm, waiting. So, brothers, upon the third or fourth generation, the Lord send you back. Psalms 130, Psalms 104 and 30, thy sin is forth thy spirit. They are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. So the Lord sent back the whole flelect to do what? To prophesy the forecast of that country, of that city, of that uh those that's in rulership, if they dealing wickedly. And all these kingdoms we have been in. They have been dealing wickedly. So back in Ecclesiastes 3, making the point about the fear of the Lord, right? The Lord put the fear in Noah to move to make the ark. The Lord put the fear in all the prophets, man. When you read about Habakkuk, when he said, Lord, will thou destroy everything? And when you're reading Ezekiel, uh, what's that? Ezekiel, uh, when Ezekiel said, Lord, would thou destroy the residue of Israel? That fear, man. This is Ecclesiastes 3 
and 14 it reads I know that whatsoever God doeth it shall be forever nothing can be put to it because it's the work of Yahweh omnipotent omnipotent nor anything taken from it and God doeth it that men should fear before him see this is about to fear the Lord man and the Lord get a whole select. They got the blueprint. They got the cheat codes. Lord willing to escape the wrath for the Lord, man. They got the cheat codes. And that's the Lord giving you mercy. Putting a fear on you through the Holy Spirit to repent and put off the old man and put on the new before destruction come, man. Because destruction is coming. Two thirds don't understand what's going on. The heaters don't understand because the Lord hasn't given them eyesaw to see the vision, man. And the scriptures say, where there is no vision, the people perish. With that Proverbs 29 and 18. But there is no vision, the people perish. So if you don't have a vision of the forecast, that's what uh, uh, you, if you don't have the vision of forecast of what's going to happen, then that means it's saying Proverbs that Proverbs 20 and 16. He that one river out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So two thirds of our people are dead because they have no vision to know how to move, man. If you don't have eyes off, then you don't you don't have you don't see. And that's why Isaiah said, Lord, how long shall Israel be like this? The Lord said, until the earth be without inhabitant. Well, until this place, North America, Babylon the Great be without inhabitants, man. The only ones that get to escape is the hopeful elect. So again, this reads, please ask these three. In 14, I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it, that men should fear before him. See, this is about the fear of the Lord. And everybody have been warned. And they tell you in the Sirach 19 that fear is the beginning. Let me read it. Ecclesiasticus chapter 19 and 18. It reads, The fear of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh is the first step to be accepted of him, and wisdom obtained of his love. So the Lord give the cheat code to the whole elect which is fear, man, through the mercy of the Lord. It says in Psalms 8 to 5 and 10 that uh, righteousness, let me read this. Psalms 8 to 5 and 10, it reads, mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. And that's to the whole flelect, man. Verse 7 reads, Psalms 8 to 5 and 7, Show us thy mercy, O Yahweh, and grant us thy salvation. That's to the whole flelect. So back in Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, it reads, To that which it say, that which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been, and God require that which is past, which is what? Destruction, man. Destruction. It gotta happen. Lamentation four say it's better to die by the sword than to die of famine. And when you read, and when you read in um Second Ezra, it tell you that they that escape the hunger, the sword shall destroy, man. Let me read it. Let's read it. Second Ezra. <clears throat> Sixteen. Yep. Second Ezra chapter sixteen. And verse twenty-two it reads. Oh, let's read this. Verse twenty-one reads, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And that's right now, man. Food is cheap, especially pork. 
Pork is the cheapest food you can buy, man. But they got all these two for twos, four for fours. Right, you remember they, they got, you, you go to certain places, they got good deals on buying meats. But they got a five for 25. <laughs> you can go buy chicken. But you got, you know, Apostle Bar always mentioned about, which, you know, fast food come from Rome, man. That come from the Edomites. Because Esau, like, or what a uh, boy said on um, <laughs> House Party, he said, got to give me some Dick Gregory. Can't wait to eat. Esau can't wait to eat, man, so they can put fast food come from the so-called white man. So as a Pascal Barway say, you can pull up to a KFC or even a Boston market, man, and get you a meal, a family meal in, in five, ten minutes, man, when real food take time to prepare, which, you know, they prepare like a Boston market. You know, they you got to prepare the food. But you can pull up to, to a, a McDonald's and the Wendy's and the Burger King a Sonics and get you a, a quick meal and food is cheap man so it's a behold victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case and this is two thirds of our people that think like this and even then shall evils grow upon earth but they ain't watching because everybody is binge eating and even then shall evil grow upon evils grow upon the earth, which is bad times, sword, famine, and great confusion. Look at all the confusion that's going on in the earth, man. You got the Transformers, the Rainbow Sliders running around here with Eagle to Act rights. Right? Women doing what they want to do. Men, you know, men are supposed to be leaders. You know, they're supposed to be leading the flock. It's a bunch of followers out here, man. These young GMO niggas with their pistols and they, you know, their weapons. A bunch of degenerates, man, as the apostles always say. And Thawadi, how about Shema Rashad for bringing us out of that, man? Because we was once in the, in the world bugged out, not knowing that... <laughs> It was only one step. <clears throat> it was only one step between the little bit of life that we thought we had and death, man. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the dead shall be cast out as dung. And there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted. Just like the the Lord told Isaiah in Isaiah 6, and the cities shall be cast down. See, there shall be no man left to till the earth, just like in the move I am legend, and to sow it. See, verse 27, so that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. That what that they showed you in the move I am legend. Will Smith was alone. And he wanted to hear somebody else's voice, man. It show you how predictive the so-called white man is, man. Which the Lord put the spirit on him to do that. So when you hear these scriptures, you're like, man, that was that was already written. Because this is a forecast. <laughs> this is a forecast with Dicks, a forecast prophecy for Babylon the Great America. And wherever else you stand at, man. Because destruction gonna touch every Israelite. Throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Judgment is coming. No matter where you at. But America, this is the plat. This is that um uh, that 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 center stage. Right here, North America, Babylon the Great. It's gonna be the greatest deliverance from this place, and it's gonna be the greatest destruction on the planet, man. Verse 28. For of a city there shall be ten left, and two of the field, which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the cliffs of the rocks. And that's in Revelation and it's in Isaiah 2, about them hiding themselves from the wrath of the Lord, telling the rocks to fall on them. The forecast of America, Babylon the Great, is destruction, man. So again, it says, For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. 
C. Lamentation. Four and nine it reads. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for wants of the fruits of the field. You're gonna die thinking about a steak or even a hot dog, man. Or a burger or some french fries. You're gonna die thinking about food. The whole the, the two-thirds, the two-thirds, whoever they are, those that don't die by getting killed by the cut of swords, the Monday guns. If they don't die, they're gonna die. If they don't die by weapons, they gonna die thinking about eating food, man. That's how cold you how about Shai is. A two-thirds slow bellied nigga, heathens too. The niggas gonna die thinking about food, man. And I be making a, you know, I'm always making jokes all the time about Jake that go to jail, right? Me and the brother be down here. And you know, we'll see it like a Jake. You know, Jake get drunk. Jake cut a fool like one week we saw Jake like, oh, he finna go to the third. You know, we the jail called 33rd. So I would be like, oh, he finna go to the third. And I'm like, hey, Jake don't been in the eight nothing, man. The nigga been drinking. They don't been the eight. And when you get to jail, if you go to jail at two, three in the morning, guess what? You ain't finna get nothing to eat until about five, man. A uh, old cold bologna sandwich. They, so every now and then, depending on who on shift, they might give you a bologna sandwich. They might give you a bologna sandwich and an orange. But niggas don't be eating. So a nigga in the back of that, in the back of that car, after you done all the whatever you done scuffing with the police or whatever, you been drinking. You know what you're thinking about when you're going to the third? You know, you think about the situation like, man, I should have did something different. No. Guess what? Nigga thinking about, man, I ain't ate nothing, man. <laughs> so when when Jacob Trouble come, two-thirds going to die. Those that escape the squad, they're going to die thinking about food, man. A horrible way to go out, man. But a lot of them get put to death, man. Just like 70 AD. When the Lord said they had put a trench about us, right? You had some Jays got away and fled to, you know, parts of Africa, Asia. A lot of Jays got destroyed, man. Did they besieged the city. Lockdown is coming, man. It's going to be a lockdown in Babylon the Great. And death is coming to two thirds of our people, man. No, but these niggas, they, they just living their best life, man. And see, the world, don't, these niggas don't believe in the Lord. They don't believe that the world gonna be destroyed, man. Cause things looking good right now. Food is cheap, right? And these niggas think they living in the new normal, man. I mean, in the back in the old, dude, well, this is the new normal, which we ain't going, this place is, will not be healed. Tell you in Jeremiah, man, this place can't be healed, man. There is no bond for this place. It's too much bloodshed than happened here in America, man. It's so, so like the so-called white man done shed too much blood, man. Too much blood has been shed in America for this place to be healed. It gotta be destroyed, man. So anyway, I just was meditating. Like I might have to do a part three. Cause you know, this is like the main goal is to talk about the downfall of this place, man, because we can't go to the kingdom of heaven until America be destroyed, man. Until the so-called white man's rulership be destroyed, because you got England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, the Edomite, uh, Britain, they still on top, man. The kingdom of heaven on earth will not be established until the so-called white man's rulership be destroyed. So our job what the scripture say in Hebrew, this is our profession, man. This is our profession. And we must profess the downfall of the so-called white man's kingdom, man. This place got to go down, man. It got to be destroyed. It got to be destroyed, man. Call like y'all about Shema with Shah. Give me a free part. The water y'all about Shema with Shah. This place got to be destroyed, man. So anyway, I just want the spiritual rat using the cup precepts. About to go down, about to 
set up camp, get this money, Lord willing, the Lord uh hold back this rain. But yeah, man, this place finna be destroyed. We got to prophesy the downfall of America, man. We got to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great until it's destroyed, man. Jake is out here living foul, man. Niggas have no morals. They don't have no standard. They don't got no integrity. It's just a bunch of degenerates, man. As the Lord said it. So two-thirds got to be removed, man. Let me get this. This is uh, 1 Peter. Well, 2 Peter's 3. Second Peter's three and ten, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. The Lord is going to come like a thief in the night, man. Let me get this First Thessalonians five. Two thirds of our people ain't watching, man. First Thessalonians chapter five and one. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Why? For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. The whole flag know how they know because the Lord gave them the blueprint, man. We read the cheat codes every day. We have dissected the cheat codes, man. We have eaten the roll, man. So we are watching because the Lord finna pull up on these niggas like a thief, man. Let me get this in James. This is James 4 and 4, it reads. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend, whoso, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world, is the enemy of God. See, two thirds of our people, the so-called white man, has conditioned them to love the world, man. This is uh First John two and fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Why? I just read to you Second Peter 3. This place finna burn up, man. This place is finna burn to a crisp. All 5,000 square miles of North America, Babylon the Great, is gonna burn, man. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If you love living your life, and we in captivity, as I said, Baruch 3 and 8, we are still subject to payments. In captivity, man. You ain't free. Nigga, when you leave America, you gotta have you gotta have a passport. And go outside of America and it and your passport expire. Your little you get your little freedom card to go visit Brazil or wherever you want to go at. Let it expire and see them they'll come get your ass. You ain't free, nigga. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh Shema Washah abideth forever. See? This world gonna be destroyed, man. This place is finna be destroyed. Knowing that, as I say, let's go back to Second Peter. Because knowing that this place finna be destroyed, what manner of persons are y'all to be, man? Second Peter's three and ten it reads again. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Why is a thief? Because two thirds of our people are not watching. They don't believe. In the which the heaven shall pass away, meaning this rulership, because this is this is the white man's heaven, and this is the Israelites' hell. Hell is a condition. It's the grave 
first and foremost when you look it up but it's Israelites condition man in earth hellish conditions again it reads in the witch but the day of Yahweh Shema Washah will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat what's the elements everything on planet earth everything in your everyday life that you see is made with elements everything what you walk on what you see everything is made with elements and the elements shall melt with fervent heat from what those intercontinental ballistic missiles remember saying Isaiah 9 and 5 but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons are ye to be in our holy conversation and godliness what should your conduct be? What should your attitude be? What should your thinking be like? Knowing that the Lord is going to destroy America, man. The Lord said as it was in Sodom and Gomorrah. Looking for and hastening to the coming of the day of God. Wherein the heavens, this rulership, being on fire, shall be dissolved. And the elements shall, mer shall melt with fervent heat. So you knowing, let's get this in the book of Jude. This is Jude 1. The Lord say, Jude 1 and 7, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, which is adultery, and going out to strange flesh, being a rainbow slider, are set forth for an example of what Lord suffering the vengeance of eternal fire <laughs> knowing this is coming what the hell should you be doing Isaiah 9 and 5 for every for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. What's the this? Let's find out. Revelation chapter 11 and 14 it reads. The second woe is past. World War II is gone. And the third woe cometh quickly. So there is a World War III that's coming. So knowing that World War III is coming. And it shall be fought with fire. The Lord said but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Oh, let's get this in Isaiah. Back in Isaiah 9, actually, let's get this. This is Isaiah 9. In verse 18, it reads, For wickedness burneth as the fire, it shall devour the brows and thorns, and shall kindle in the thickets of the forest. America, Babylon the Great is the forest. This is, it says, and shall kindle in the thickets of the forest. This is talking about America, Babylon the Great. And they shall mount up like the lifting up of smoke. Through the wrath of the Lord. Who's going to be the mounting up as the lifting up of smoke? It's going to be the people, man. Listen. Isaiah 9 and 19. Through the wrath of Yahweh of hosts is the land darkened. And what, Lord? And the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. No man shall spare his brother. This is going to be lifting up a smoke, man. Being burnt to a crisp. And that's a special judgment. Because anybody that take that MOTB, that micro C hill, you got a special judgment, Jack. Revelations 14 and 9, it reads, And the third, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, Right, which is the, uh, the revival Roman Empire, EU and NATO, America, EU and NATO, and his image. What's the image of the beast? It's the system. And most of our people love America's system. They love Great Britain's system. 
They love the system that Sweden has, that London has. They love it. Again, if any man worships the beast, those that's in rulership, the so-called white man, and two-thirds of our people love this nigga, they tell you in Jeremiah 2 and 33 that two-thirds of our people have trimmed their ways for the so-called white man to seek his love. If any man worships the beast in his image and receive his mark in their forehead or in their hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with what fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb what did the lord use to destroy sodom and gomorrah fire and brimstone let's see if i can get this let's go to jeremiah let's see if i can find this precept real quick This is Jeremiah 50 and 40, he reads. As God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof, saith the Lord, so shall no man abide there. Where is there? America. Neither shall any son of man dwell therein. This is Revelation chapter 9. In verse 16, it reads. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand, which is 200 million. And I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in a vision, and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and of brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths, that's the, the mouths is the warheads, that's on these ICBM missiles, issued fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths. For their mouths is in the mouth, for their, for their power is in their mouth and in their tails because the missiles get propelled. They don't got to be dropped from B-29s or from B-52s. For their tails were like unto serpents, that's going to be the smoke trail that that come from the missiles when they get shot off and had heads. What heads? The war heads. And with them, they do hurt. And the rest of the men, which were not killed by these plagues, which is the missiles, yet repented not of the works of their hands. Show you how wicked niggas is. Show you how wicked two thirds of our people is. Show you how wicked the whole uh, two thirds of Jake and heathens will not repent, man. It reads again, Revelations 9 and 20. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. And neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornications, nor of their thefts. So the, the so-called white man ain't gonna repent. See? First off, he can't repent. Tell you in, the, in Hebrews 12, 16 and 17. The so-called white man have found no, no place of repentance with the most high. But heathens, two-thirds of Jake will not repent after seeing these things happen. This show you how cold. The Lord got that spirit on two third niggas, man. Cause after seeing these missiles about to drop on you, you still ain't gonna try to repent to the Lord. So the Lord saying niggas that see these missiles about to drop on, they about to die a grievous death. A nigga still ain't gonna say, Lord, please forgive me. They just gonna die being a damn nigga. Lord is edifying. You gotta give all praises and glory to you. How will Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Rikak Kwadash? The bonus to the apostles and that a bitch and that is a great mess. Don't rule well, who teach well, who are the apostles and that is of all of Israel, ready to accept it or not. And a sincere salutation to all the occupants, pushing this truth and believing this truth with the four ends of the earth, the entire world, shedding light to the whole full elect. Shallow one to the Akwa who are listening, learning. If you sister who are listening, learning, who are tuning in, may Yahweh Shema Shah continue blessing your houses. 
May the blessing of election be upon your houses. Hey, the forecast for America, Babylon the Great, is to burn up, man. And two thirds of these people are gonna die. Two thirds of Israel are gonna die grievous deaths, man. Oh, let me get this. As a matter of fact, the Lord said, pray not for these people, man. Let me get this. Jeremiah, let me go here. Lord wouldn't like and get this. This is Jeremiah 7. In verse 16, it reads. This is Jeremiah 7 and 16. Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me. Intercession means you use use like a mediator, right? The Lord, that, that, has, that has always been a mediator between the, the Israelites and the Most High. Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. See? Cause it's gonna be too late, man. It's gonna be too late. Just get this. In Jeremiah 16, it reads, verse four. They shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. This would have said in 16. They shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. See? Destruction coming, man. Repent while you still can. Seek your Habashim Mama Shah while you still can. Because it's going to come a time when mercy will stop. There will be no more mercy, man. We're in some deadly, serious terms. And it's going to get a lot worse. Persecution got to happen. The destruction of America has to happen, man. So whether you can accept it or not, America will be destroyed. Shalom, and I'm gonna say Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Shalak, Rayum, Wa Anashim, Wa Abadium, Wa Haragium, Wa Mashapatium, all called Adawamium, Wa Kawarium, Wa Ayab Yamnawa, Baba Kashah, Baba Kashah, Baba Kashah, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. The water, I'm a shallow one.